I do think that cloud storage, you know, getting it out of our individual computers um, is is kind of a, a given. It's you know? a I mean, we got to back it up someplace, right? And you, you can't always trust a hard drive. Well, and it's not just yeah, and it, it's. But it, what's safe? At the end of the day, we're still putting media somewhere, hoping it's not going to, you know, go tits up. So whether it's a, a cloud, a hard drive, or up somebody's backside, there's still chance it's going to be lost. I, I think yeah, exactly. Don't be don't be too uh, attached to it. I think that's the no, end, the no. end result here. No, I, I think that the thing though is that we are. Uh, we have to deal with a lot of media, and one of the things is we, we're trying to get into a system where we're basically locally backing stuff up and backing up the most important things that we have to the cloud at the same time. So the idea is that it's a mixture of both. It just gives us another place. If the place burns down or we're robbed blind uh, uh, physically, not, not, on, the, not on, the, uh, on the internet, um, that we uh, would have somewhere where that data lives. You know, I think that that's, that's kind of the, the issue. And, that, and that's just storage. Yeah. Of course, a lot of this is cloud computing. So when you look at cloud services, when you look at like an Amazon S3, you know, service, it's not just storage. What we're talking about is the ability to run applications, the ability to run things on it um, that allow us to not have to worry anymore about the servers. This is the, exactly the issue that we're dealing with with Squarespace, our sponsor, mm-hmm. is that I don't want to know where the server is. I don't want to upload to Word, Word, my WordPress to anywhere. I don't want to figure out where Drupal exists. I just want the thing to work. You know, and, 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 I, and I don't want to worry about whether I'm on a 10 meg pipe or an 8 meg pipe or an or a OC3 or whatever it is. That, that, I, I don't want to think about that. I want that to be handled by somebody else. And I think that's where we're going with cloud computing cloud storage, you know, all those things is being able to have it somewhere else that I can access anywhere that I don't have to think about it. Well, that's, with, there's with, also, that's, with that's very fear based. Whoa, whoa. Sorry. Go ahead, with, with open ID, uh, apparently uh, Facebook is embracing open ID as well. So if you can store it wherever using open ID, then for the media professional, it gets really easy. Right. Yeah, and absolutely. I was just going to say, this whole thing sounds kind of fear-based. You, you know, um, we actually lost all the, God, uh, the Goodnight Burbank uh, software a year or so ago. And we had to rebuild every single show. And that had been backed up on two drives, and both drives went belly up. Uh, I've since been told that if it's not on three drives, it's not safe. It doesn't exist. And that's what we're doing now. But the idea that, you know, you're talking about being robbed blind, nobody's going to come in your house, go straight for your hard drives and, and, and sell them for, uh, for drug money. Uh, and then the idea that... that Okay, then it's it's down to fire or earthquake or whatever, and it doesn't really happen that often. Uh, we're all still in our homes, for, uh, the, the grand majority of us. Um, so I, I certainly do believe in at least three backups of, uh, of any files if they're important, whether they're on a cloud, in a hard drive, wherever. But um, I don't think that, that the selling point should necessarily be they're not in your house, so they're safe. I, I don't, you know. Well, I think I think that I would say that there it's it's just an additional. You know, additional backup. You know, the sure. uh, the the system that I've kind of been building in my my house and office have been a Drobo, which would allow any one of the drives to fail um, at the house. Another Drobo that mirrors to it at the office, which is about forty five miles away, and um, and then put putting the most important things of those backing parts of that up to the cloud as well. So what you end up with is this kind of between three different places. It would be it would be uh, if I lost all three points of those of the of, of the way that that's structured, um, I would not be worried about my data anymore because it would be a nuclear uh, fallout <laughs> <laughs> by my estimation. So I uh, and and this is only the stuff that I consider the most important. You know, because um, data management is just become this for us. You know, we 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 add six terabytes a week to our system, and so um, so for us, we you know, data management is everything. Um, you know, and, and trying to figure out you know where where all this stuff's going to go, and then also making hard decisions. So every week, also about two or three terabytes goes back into the system um, because we decide that it's old enough that we're not going to come back to it, and we move on. All I want is instant, fast access to my data anywhere. Well, and that's that's the other reason to put it on the cloud is that I don't have to think yeah. about it. I mean, I have. Uh, it's not fast enough yet, though, is it? It depends on how fast your connection is. But don't, isn't there, there more security issues when something's up on a cloud and not in a hard drive in your house? I mean, it's yes, it's more convenient, but isn't it more dangerous? Um, I, I think that I worry about that to some degree, except for the fact that a, with a lot of these companies, they're. A survival is based on security, and oftentimes they're far more secure than anything we're going to have in the office. Uh, you know, they th- they have to deal with this. When you look at a company like um, 
uh, salesforce.com mm-hmm. uh, is a good example. We do some work with them and they, they have, uh, it is, um, they have financial services running on it. I mean, they, if, but if I'm, I, I'm reading that, that, uh, that people are hacking into the Pentagon. So if the Pentagon isn't safe, I'm not putting my money on anyone uh, that, that's going to be safe. I just don't believe that it exists. No, and, and I don't know. I, I don't have a lot of data that I think I don't put my financials up there. So, um, you know, most of the data that I'm worried about is media. It's pictures of my kids. It's it's mm-hmm. or it's from, from the company's point of view. Our our end products, you know, get get backed up there. If someone broke in and stole uh, episode 134 of Mac Break, you know, I'd I'd probably you'd be sur- heartbroken. You'd I know. Cry. I know. I. <laughs> I but you can move on. Believe you did that but to as, me. as long as it as long as it was on one of those software sites that doesn't give you any attention, you'd be fine. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, yeah, I think everyone out there is going to be looking around, making sure that making sure that we're properly propagated. So the um, uh, the uh, yeah. So I, I think that the the issue is is that the, the everywhere you know for me a lot of times like for instance my presentations are all up on my dot mac account mm-hmm. so i have about eight eight to ten presentations that i change for every seminar but there's a version of them that has been done before that sits up on the net specifically because i've had my computer go down i've lost my thumb drive so i have it on my computer i have it on a thumb i have a 32 gig thumb drive that has every presentation that i have on it so that i can plug it into any machine and just start going um, but i also have it sitting on the dot mac account with every back like behind the scenes image that I've ever taken with all of the you know stuff that I need so that if I need to rebuild one, if I need to just use the last one because something isn't working and I'm just going to survive what I, you know, NAB or Macworld or whatever. And I've had those issues where, you know, something went bad. Uh, I lost what I thought I was going to be shooting. And, um, and that's where I'm really glad that I have stuff in the cloud. So it's um, so I, I do think that that anywhere uh, I don't think it's it's there yet, but I do have to admit it changes a lot. I think that there's a threshold we're about to reach with bandwidth mm. that a lot of this changes dramatically when we're talking about having a hundred megabit connection or a fifty megabit connection. I only have at home, I have a um, uh, I have a thirty meg connection at home. It's promised to be sixteen, but it actually ends up to be thirty. It was thirty this morning. It took me longer to download the one gigabyte. Uh, it was a one gigabyte um, upgrade to for Xcode. I'm writing some software right now, and I realized I had the old version, and so I downloaded the upgrade for Xcode. It took me longer to install it once it was downloaded than it took to download it, hmm. you know, off my system. And and when we get to that point with a lot of these things, um, you know, I think that uh, our use of cloud. So I think what we're seeing is a lot of people preparing for the fact that they know a lot of people are going to have ten, twenty, fifty megabits up and down, and at that point. For the average user, maybe not for us, um, but for the average user, uh, being able to throw up a gigabyte in in fifteen minutes or half an hour is enough uh, to keep you know to keep everything everything that they own backed up. I mean, I I had to back up my my wife's computer, and there was um, <laughs> she was asking, I don't know how it's going to fit to move from one computer to the other, and uh, it fit. It was less than a gig. She'd had it for like two years and there was less than a gigabyte of, of new data that needed to be moved over. And so I think when we, t- we, we are in a different as media developers, we're in a completely different environment where we go through a lot of data. But I think for the average person, a lot of these cloud things make a lot of sense. 